it is the most anticipated fall in indian markets most say it is a good fall nifty witnessed a sharp correction in three consecutive days down by approximately 4% as noted in our previous video markets can be sluggish or bearish from january to march this year so what is our plan of action in the investment space let us discuss this in detail in this video hi welcome to psi plan save and invest myself kumar i will share you my opinion on the recent fall in the stock markets most say it is a good fall yes after equities touched all time highs a good fall is anticipated but the question is is it a temporary fall or is it the starting of bearish market this time decides and we have to wait and see if our plan of action is strong every fall is an opportunity to invest are you checking it stocks generally it companies post weak results in the third quarter but this time most of the it companies q3 results surprised the streets beating analysts expectations it giants like hcl tech and tcs q3 results were above the analysts expectation check out it stocks and let's see infosys infosys is under consolidation and growth revival this is the time to look for buying opportunity in quality stocks infosys q3 results are satisfactory but when we dig deeper the company bags deals worth dollar 3 billion which is approximately 25000 crores and most of these deals are new deals secondly the stock didn't witness a major price correction in the bearish market the price is about 200 dma daily moving average and raised above 50% on fibonacci levels uh the stock was corrected in 2023 and is now available at good price so one can check infosys uh you know buying at this level uh hcl also posted a good quarterly results uh it is a top gainer and rallied more than 7% but if you look at ofss interestingly Oracle Financial Services software prices zoomed 28.69% in a single day after announcing robust Q3 results. Technically speaking, the OFSS chart formed a runway gap up on the chart with huge volumes. You can check the chart. If the price sustains above the gap up for a couple of days, it is a good opportunity for short term investment. Overall IT stock showed resistance to fall in the bearish market and declared marginally good quarterly results. So we consider this is a good fall and there are few fundamentally strong companies which are performing well but dropped by more than 10%. We will discuss that in detail. great fall in strong fundamentals in last two weeks if you observe markets have burst with stock names like hdfc bank polycap and mindry fundamentally strong companies plunged more than 10% these three companies are fundamentally strong and had performed well past few years but now the stocks have been corrected more than 10%. Let us examine this. First, HDFC Bank. Stock price dropped by 10%. Is there anything wrong with the business? Absolutely no. It is an opportunity for a medium to long term investor like me to add or average this stock. It is trading under rupees 1500 which is a rare opportunity. So the strategy is to buy at least 20% now and add more if the stock falls from the current level. It means if you are having 1 lakh rupees you can buy 
ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड रुपीज यू कैन इन्वेस्ट ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड रुपीज नाउ इन एच डी एफ सी बैंक स्टॉक फॉल्स फर्दर मोर एट ट्वेंटी परसेंट मोर एंड फर्दर मोर एट ट्वेंटी परसेंट मोर एंड होल्ड द स्टॉक फॉर एटलीस्ट मिनिमम वन ईयर या कंसर्स लाइक नेट इंटरेस्ट मार्जिन दिस इज अप्लीकेबल टू एंटायर बैंकिंग इंडस्ट्री सो नो नीड टू वरी अबाउट इट If RBI announces subsequent rate cuts in the next couple of months, yeah, the growth trajectory is on in HDFC Bank, no doubt about it. Look at the PE ratio chart of HDFC Bank. The stock with the average PE ratio of 28 is now available at 16, which is a good time to buy and hold. If we look at the HDFC Bank chart, the following are the crucial support levels. Strong support at fourteen sixty. Um, one can invest, you know, twenty percent now, and add more at rupees thirteen eighty. It is a good opportunity. If you can buy the stock at thirteen hundred and eighty rupees, it's a very good opportunity. And hold for a period of a year or more. You can beat. You know, standard returns of twenty to thirty percent. Second stock, which is under our radar and dropped by more than twenty percent, is Polycam. Yes, corporate governance is major concern to any any investor. The company faces allegations of tax evasion, incorrect expenses, and an unaccounted amount of rupees thousand crore. in the raid conducted by indian income tax department because of this event eventually the company prices dropped by 20% but the company denied all the allegations and it rights even the income tax department didn't mention complete details of the raid nor it didn't mention polycap name in any official report about the it rights according to the current scenario since there is no official statement from the it department we cannot blame the company's corporate governance i mean polycap company's corporate governance however this will alert other cable companies making unaccounted cable sales and also allow polycap to clean their books and you know come up with a better books eventually from an investor point of view polycap is my favorite stock in terms of solid fundamentals and business q3 results of polycap are good we added this stock to our portfolio at around 4000 levels we are waiting to buy more if the stock falls to 3500 looking at the chart of polycap rupees 4000 is a crucial support zone if it breaches it is a good opportunity to buy the stock at rupees 3500 look at the pe ratio chart of polycap stock with an average pe of 50 is now available at 37 suppose the allegations are proven and there is an official declaration of fraud in that case it is wise to stay away from this stock until the concerns are resolved because fas hold approximately 12% of the company and they are least interested in buying or holding stocks with corporate governance issues third stock which is in our radar uh, is ltm mine tree Let us examine the quants of LTI Mine Tree. The company declared an annual growth rate of 31% CAGR, which is huge. Return on capital employed is 37%, which is very good. And the three years average return of equity is 31%, which is the best among the sector. The company holds significant deals worth dollar 1.5 billion, which is around. Rupees twelve thousand five hundred crores. Yeah, these are impressive numbers, no doubt about it. And the company also delivered uh, good.
good returns in past two years. But the company price dropped by 10% in a single day after announcing Q3 results. The management is not confident in achieving the aspirational margin band of 70 to 18% for a few quarters. As per CEO Devashish Chatterjee said in post earnings call. So basically, the management itself is not confident, you know, in the couple of quarters, the company might not perform as expected. So eventually the company prices dropped by 10%. But I'm a little skeptical because the company promoters hold more than 64%. Like almost they hold 70% of uh, shares themselves and they are telling company might not perform but the company already performed gave the good quarterly results and track record is also good i don't know what is wrong to invest or buy the stock at now because it's already the ltm's average pe ratio is always above 55 now it is available at somewhere 35 37 the pe ratio is around 35 37 which is a nominal or a cheaper rate or a good P ratio. Considering all the good of uh, LTI mine tree, I think it's a good opportunity to buy at this level. The strategy is the same, invest at least 20%. Suppose if you are having 1 lakh rupees, buy 20,000 worth of stock right now. If the stock falls even more, like you know, it's good if you can buy if you if we can get this stock at around 5400 or 5200 if you can invest one lakh rupees if you are having one lakh rupees like and if you average prices around 5300 it's good and hold the stock for at least one year period probably we might get that 25 to 30 percent returns that's what our strategy and that is what we are intended to do okay I want to conclude this video with the note that every market uncertainty can be an opportunity if we examine it closely. So we examined a few good quality stocks available at cheaper rates. Disclaimer, we intend to provide you with our analysis, not the recommendations to buy or sell based on our opinion. Please like, share, subscribe to our channel and write your valuable comments in the comment section below. We will come up with more interesting facts about financial markets in our upcoming video. Until then, bye for now.